I know what you're thinking. Oh, I thought he killed this series. Well, it turns out what can't be killed is the toxic idea that I could still be a racing driver. So what's got me back in the seat? Well, friend of the channel, Simon Core is an admin at the RSL, and they are running the WMSC3 Championship. It's an F3 Championship run on Automobilista 1 using the F309 cars. And he's got a guest driver program in the series, and he said, do you want to race? And I said, yes. And I naturally picked the circuit that I'd never driven at before because I'm a smart boy. This would be my first ever competitive league race. Like, literally, the closest thing I compare it to is literally open lobby stuff. The stuff you've seen on GT Sport is probably the closest to this. So it's still quite different. So this is my perspective on round four of the WMSC3 Championship, which took place at the 1976 version of Kyle Army. My name's Ash. This is The Outside Life. <laughs> Here we are then, we are about an hour out from whenever it all kicks off, there's going to be the driver's briefing, so I'm in the TeamSpeak server, Automobilista is loaded, I'm just going to get myself, you know, make sure I'm comfortable and set up. I've been practicing in the practice server for the last couple of days, it seems like I'm about a second to a second and a half off the pole time. But it wasn't all roses, got to be careful of that final corner when you get the power down. Also got to be careful of the kerbs, as you can get stuck on them. As Simon demonstrated. But I feel like I'm maybe not the slowest. I just don't want it to be over after the first corner, you know? I want to get to the end if I can and not finish last. And this is all obviously connected to like the TeamSpeak server so I can, you know, get race control, hear their notifications or if I need to say anything back. So sound might be a bit different. I'm probably not going to be speaking to you as much, if at all, in the server. Uh, Daniel Benson reader posted a snapshot of uh, the current fastest times in the practice server and at the minute I'm sick I know there's gonna be people in there who've only done maybe big fuel runs or they're hiding their pace because Simon warned me that's what people do so it is incredibly toxic of me to think that I might be fit like sixth fastest but I'm still really happy just to see <laughs> To kick things off, it was the driver's briefing held by race director Alexander Knezevich, which you can't hear, which yielded this thrilling footage. There was lots more of that I could have shown you, but I don't want to get you too excited. Into the 20 minute practice session, now I'm using just replay footage from Automobilist, I didn't record live, I didn't trust my computer to be able to handle that, uh, but I'm using my graphics to make sure you can see as much as possible. You don't have the full heads up display, but I will make sure you are fully aware of where I am in terms of the graphics. And we also have some stream footage from Lucas Hamilton, thank you very much Lucas for letting me use some of that. Now, practicing. Obviously you need to steer clear of um, <clears throat> other people. And I mentioned before that I would probably be talking to you very much, but that would be very true, as in the TeamSpeak server I was joined by friend of the channel Simon Corr and friend of the channel Adrian Friedrich, also known as Corvin. No, it's already sound fine in my ears. I'm just trying, I think I've got it at the right level now where I can hear you guys nicely just over my own engine. Um, that's not too bad. Because I was using a separate computer to record my audio, unfortunately you won't be able to hear them but I'll, I'll fill in the gaps as best I can. Now, the 10 minute qualifying session was private, so you didn't have to worry about other people on the road, it was just you in your own session. So you could push, and push I did. Ah! Mm -hmm. Look at me smiling like an idiot. Well, at least you're enjoying yourself, eh? Damn, I was too tense up on my best then and threw it away at that, um, I can't remember the name of it. The name isn't important, but what is important is my best lap from qualifying. So crossing the line with about, I'd say, 30 or so seconds left. So I knew this would be my final lap. Here we go, a lap of the classic 1976 Grand Prix version of Kyle Army. A long straight and down to turn one. Crowthorn, break just after the one board. You want to flick down to third just temporarily to help get the car turned in. Back up to fourth. I could probably have run it a bit wider and taken a bit more curb and carried a bit more speed. Through barbecue and Juxky sweep, both of these flat. And then we come up to the section that links with what is currently part of Kyle Army today. So this is sunset and then into clubhouse. Very easy 
to just overcorrect and over rotate the car into this one. We've got this nicely. On the power gently. Don't want to run it too wide here, as if you go too wide, you get track limits warning into the S's. Just regulate the throttle nicely, use the momentum of the car, and then you can get the power down early and we head up to the Lear Cop. This is the way you saw the clip from the practice server where if you try and get on the throttle a bit too early, you can over rotate the car and lose it at the back end. But now we head up towards the final turn, the kink, but this is flat. So basically you're at the end of the lap and I'm already looking down. I already know I'm gonna be quicker and I'm very, very happy with the result. Less than a second away from pole. And to put into context why I'm so happy, the pole time and second, Turi and Heyman, were both quicker than the world record set in AMS. To be less than a second away from that, very happy. Also, you may notice, just ahead of Simon. Sorry, Simon, I was happy about that. And it was funny when he realised that I'd just beaten him. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's my best lap ever as well. I think that's my fastest. Like, there's literally been a few tenths between us either way. It's, it's been really close. So, a final 10 minute warm up session, chance to get our eye back in with our race setups. And Simon said, use it to practice your starts, which turns out was important for me. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a good shout on practicing starts there. That was nearly an eye moment. Jesus. An eye moment refers to the letter you have to put in chat if you have an incident. And there, Corvin, nearly having an eye moment of his own in front of us. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> as focus turned to the race, it was all about just getting in the right headspace. The question would be, what would be more of a risk to my race? Me? Or other people? <laughs> the jury was out on that one. Yeah, I'm, I, I, after doing a couple of grid starts, I definitely think I'm going to be um, losing some places off the line. But that's fine. That's, that's, that's not where the race is won and lost. So it's all okay. Now, the footage you're seeing now is from an aborted start. Why was it aborted? Radiator. Oh. Oh. Will I be able to just kind of get, grab my position? Oh. Oh, f sake. So to give you some context, here is Lucas Hamilton's stream. What I was doing was looking and obsessing over my setup, and I took so long that I missed the countdown to the start. So I'm not on the grid. My little dot is still in the pits. When I realise, I decide, oh, I'm going to rush out and try and catch up. But there was a red light at the pit lane, which means when you exit the pit on a red light, this happens. I was very quick in disqualified already. Has he been disqualified from the whole race or is he just starting from the um is he just not gonna do a formation lap? Is it like the F1 games or is it like you know normal racing? Right. We will restart the race um, because two guys forgot to yeah, press race and uh, I want him to take part. Thank you. Thank you for not naming names. <laughs> I'm not not looking at any setup stuff now. Not looking at anything. I'm on the grid. I, I owe Kineza a beer for restarting. Or a soft drink. Or a snack. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Thank you so much, Alexander, for restarting. So I can take my place on the grid for a 30 minutes plus one lap race around Kyle Army. Now, inexperience would start to show here. I wasn't happy with how much heat I was getting into my tyres and I think someone behind me got slightly impatient for me trying to get more heat in as they just took their grid slot. Oh, oh, whoa, um, this tenth is... That's fine. Oh, I've not got a good position here because ten overtook me just before the start. That's not good at all but there's no time to think about it. The lights go green on my first ever league race. The clock starts ticking, we head down to turn one. 
my biggest fear was it being over after turn one. So I just wanted to find my own little space. And to be fair, I seem to have opened it out into one. I've got my own little piece of road. However, because of the lack of temperature in the tyres, I do not hit the apex at all. And I leave the door wide open and drop a place, which is rather unfortunate. But I survived. So we can now get into it, get the heat in the tyres quite quickly. There's a lot of fast flowing corners and turns where we can get the heat in. Just behind me, nearly a race ending incident for me. Very glad I was out of the way. That happened just behind me. I hope that wasn't my fault. It wasn't, but not the time to dwell on it. Just need to keep focusing forward. Now, some of the curbs around this track, they are a little bit angular. And if you do run into them, they can bounce you wide, as we saw. You can get caught on them, as Simon did in the practice server. But here, I'll just catch this a little bit side on, and it bounces me out. Oh, terrible exit. Unfortunately, I lose another place. Those nerves getting to me at this point. But at least we are together through the first lap. I can start feeling my way into the race. Of course I'm racing the guy that's got the very high ping. <laughs> yeah, I was warned Victor's connection can sometimes be a little bit troublesome, so I'm giving him a wide berth. But I'm through. All I need to do is sweep through, close the door, get the move done. But debutante nerves hit, still leave the space. Obviously a little bit of a squirm as you can see on entry. And instead of getting forward, Victor gets back past. I really just need to get into a rhythm. I still don't feel very comfortable. And Simon now is right on my tail. On reflection, I wish I'd been maybe a little bit more aggressive into that move. Just maybe not left quite as much space. But I think I was more concerned about my own patch of road than anyone else. So racecraft lacking. But now there's a little bit of spread. So at least we can start to focus on, you know, just driving a little bit better. Already taking that corner better than lap one. Someone's in the wall. Don't you dare and say free join. Safety car, reduce pace from the start finish line. Oh, oh, safety car crash, damn. Victor's just hit and went to the back of uh, Hess, I think. Oh my. Despite the nerves, I'd managed to be up to seventh place. I'm as shocked as you. But again, the same issue reared its head of me not being great at getting heat into the tyres. So they had cooled again and the field was being head up. At sector three, the leader of the race takes control of the race pace. So it's up to him when we go. This is hairy. This is... I hate this. This is very late. But we go again, and in the knowledge that one of the series' fastest drivers, Gabriel Peckley, is behind me. But I seem to have the jump on him. I think Peckley's had a poor start. But guess whose tyres and brakes are cold? Oh, my brakes are so cold. Oh, what a f**k up. Ah, oh, damn. He's been able to just walk past. That was emotional whiplash from that one, jeez. But restart survived, and before you know it, the toe, very powerful on the main straight, <laughs> was meaning that Simon was bearing down on me. <laughs> oh, the pressure. Oh, excellent turn one. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how we didn't have a crash then either, but thank the Lord we didn't. Definitely had a poor restart. I've definitely not been good at warming my tyres up, and I feel like I've been a bit sluggish. I need to learn better to think less about analysing everything as I'm going. I just need to stay in the moment. But, before I know it, we're at least up to the halfway point of the race. Oh, I almost did it the same bit as well. 
yes, with it being such a fast track with fast sweeping corners, tire wear would begin to raise its head. I had to be wise to it. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Damn. Right, let's try not to cause any problems. Yeah, I'm not an unsafe rejoiner. Probably to my detriment. But I wasn't going to cause any accidents. Apart from my own, obviously. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm having a mare. What's happening? Yes, that one slide had basically given me a bit of a knock of confidence, so I had to try and get my head back in the game. All was not lost, still time to go, still not at the very back, but unfortunately a bit of debris just off the racing line would be my undoing. Oh, whoa! Ah, oh, Yeah, same. I've just, I've just tried to dodge a bit of debris on the road. Oh, and gone in the wall. My, my rear wing's gone. Damn. Incredibly, another perspective can be offered from Lucas Hampton's stream. Yellow flag. Hmm, flags up ahead. Like Baker spawn. Is he going to the pits? He's going to the pits. Oh no, he just lost it again. Slow car, last sector, be careful. Ash Baker, please pit. So I did. New rear wing and fresh rubber. Just need to get it up to temperature and at least I've got some good grip for the final 11 minutes. Oh my god, come on, dude. <laughs> All my abilities just disappeared. Oh my god. Yeah, probably not ability, more confidence. Safety cars, you can oh, continue yes, please. Uh, to the start finish straight with full speed. So I can, I can unlock myself, right? Magical. I'm guessing we'll get the call from um, Keneza, right? About when I can do that. Just ahead of me, Adrian was considering yeah. whether he should get his own set of fresh tires. It is it is worth it. You should go in. The, you should definitely go in the pits, and that is nothing to do with the fact that I might get track position on you. <laughs> At the minute, um, well, I'm thirteenth. And then there was this odd moment where, while we're still trying to catch up with the safety car queue, still under safety car, I was overtaken. Just been overtaken, but I, I am going to unlap myself sh shortly, sir. Um, Giovanni Felipe, give the position back to Hugh Hamill. So that explains that. Now, nearly back on the end of the queue, I was expecting the lapped cars can unlap themselves call any second now. Safety car in this lap, safety car in this lap, Max Seaman setting the pace from sector 3 Whoa, onwards, no overtaking. Yes, with only a few minutes left, the decision was made just to get the race going oh. again, which, if it's not clear from what's coming next, completely fine with that. Yes, it's not great for my race, but I understood they either had to let the cars go and wait, or just get racing again, and they chose the latter. Yeah, we're still... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. At this point, Simon was apologising for this decision, but honestly, I understood it. Well, this is this is a bit, I mean, it's like the whole Abu Dhabi thing. So, do you want to get things racing again? Um, I appreciate he wants to. Simon then panics that I mentioned Abu Dhabi. I didn't. I, it wasn't a bad thing. Oh no, this that was the, that was handled the right way. It's like, yeah, we're not going to do it. Let's let's just go. I just need to let, oh yeah, I need to let eight go. There we go, I'm back. I'm at the back now, I'm not going to be in people's way. That's not too bad. 
yeah, as in, you make a decision one way or the other. You either let the cars unlap properly, or you don't. You don't do half of that. But let's not, let's not talk about oh. that. Anyway, the restart caused some issues for people. Oh dear, that's... Oh. This is very messy, and I'm trying to unlap myself while other people... Yeah, the thing you can't see is the game is screaming at me, saying, blue flag, get out the way. Whereas, in some cases, I feel like I can unlap myself, so, but it's screaming at me now, saying, just move, so I move. Also, Adrian is ninth, and I'm on the cusp of points, and I don't want to get in his way either. Oh, I'm gonna, if that's you in ninth, I'm, I'm bailing out, get straight past me. And get on the back. Shame I couldn't try and unlap myself and catch up to other people, but not much you can do. It's all messy up ahead, you might be able to pick something up here. Unfortunately, being in the tow meant I wasn't leaving Corbin alone anytime soon. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not making any moves as much as I would love to unlap myself. It's There's no gain, it's not like there's anyone else I can unlap. Like, Peckley's 25 seconds up the road, there's no way I'm getting to him. So, matter of seconds left, but remember, it is plus one lap, so depending on where the leaders cross the line, there might still be a couple of laps after the clock runs out. Oh god, yeah, saying, I think that's what undid me today, that lack of experience on, oh, I'm just the same as you! <laughs> Lack of experience on those, you know. So, clock run out, final lap not declared quite yet, and I'm just trying to, you know, get what I can in the chaos. Oof, that is a place. Oh, for sake. Oh, so that rejoin is uh, screwed, mate. <laughs> Please don't rejoin again. Please look. Someone's got to go wing in front of me. Oh dear. I might get top 10 after all this. And as I head round for the final time, I am in 10th. But incredibly, Simon is up in third. Awesome result, man. Yeah, he drove a great race. He's kept his nose clean, consistently quick, and he finished on the road in third. But there would be another twist to that coming up. But for me, 10th on my debut. Not a great drive in the race, but still, top 10 ain't bad. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm top 10. So, uh, congratulations to Dominic Kronsky who takes the win. Uh, Victor has uh, still his five second penalty to serve. That puts uh, uh, Simon in, third, uh, in second and uh, Victor in third. <laughs> I also want to shout out to this because we've used clips from Lucas's stream. He started last, yet he would come home to finish fifth. What a drive from him. And this celebration is exactly why we love going racing. <laughs> That's my chance! Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, top five! Get in! <sighs> All things considered, for a first attempt, there's a lot to be happy about. Single lap pace, really good. The fact that I was only like a second or so off pole, amazing. Qualifying eighth, really happy. Very happy to have finished tenth as well, which isn't a bad performance. But I admit the race was a bit scrappy. Inexperience at heating up the tyres and then driving on cold tyres. Inexperience driving on the worn tyres. Just yeah, completely lost confidence in myself like part way through the race. Also, my race craft was just very, I was just very flimsy. Like I wasn't really racing anyone very hard at all. I was just kind of on about survival more than anything. But that probably served me quite well. However, the other big stories were absolutely Simon Cor, a great drive from ninth to finish second. Adrian Friedrich, aka Corvin, 
brilliant. His first ever open wheel racing points, I believe. What a result for him. And then, just because we ended up using a little bit of his stream and then seeing his story throughout, Lucas Hamilton, last to fifth. What a drive. But that was a lot of fun. So much fun. And despite how poor my actual race performance was, I really enjoyed it. Which is why, when I saw they were doing Adelaide a week later, I might have said I'd, I'd race in that as well. I mean, surely it would be an improvement, right? But you are going to find out. My perspective of round five at Adelaide coming very, very soon. It is going to be one of my favourite videos. Probably not for the reason you think, but it is, it is absolutely one of my favourite videos. For now, thank you for watching. Thank you so, so much for Simon to inviting me along. Thank you for Adrian as well for being good company. Both of them for being good company while I raced. Keep an eye on the ORSL channel. Um, you can watch the race highlights as well. There's also an interview with me at the beginning of that uh, and my, kind of my upfront expectations. So you can see how wrong I, I got it for myself. And then obviously highlights of the race. It's honestly such a good project and Simon works so hard on it. Please go and subscribe and go check it out. It's, it's amazing. And uh, yeah, next time you see me, we'll be in Adelaide. <laughs>